This car is awesome. It's made out of one sheet of Baltic birch plywood and it is two foot by four foot. The legs were made out of half of, one half of the sheet and the top and bottom are the other half. And they're a perfect size as far as strength goes, I think. The, these are five and three quarter by five and three quarter by in between here is 23 and three quarter. These are just under four foot long, but you can cut it out of it. You can basically go two foot by four foot. And it's just super strong. It's come in super handy. We've used it uh, mostly in the shop to move material around, but you can put a, like a full sheet of, uh, when you're unloading your truck, I've had this stack like this high with thousand pounds or so of material. It's on uh, five inch casters, total lock. So when you push it, the thing doesn't move at all. That's good. I do that on all sides so it can maneuver any way you want. And uh, I love this thing. So there you go. So I'm going to show how it's built. All right. So oh, here's the cart. Uh, when it was originally done, it looked nice and clean. Basically, I used a full sheet. I had cut it in half, and one half I used to build these legs. These legs, you can see here, are made out of the three-quarter Baltic birch plywood. I'll show the actual measurements when I put out this video. Okay, so these pieces here, this is basically uh, four and a quarter by four and a quarter by three quarter, two pieces nailed and glued together. And that is basically what's gonna support the casters. The screws will go into this portion only on one end of the legs. You wanna make that a nice tight fit in the leg on the caster end, which is the bottom. I put some glue all around it. I started to tap it in and now it's all the way in with lots of glue. I put a few nails in the side, I believe. And then I attached a the bottom. This is flipped upside down. But I put this piece of plywood on, the uh, two foot by four foot piece. I screwed it down with conformat screws. And you see that here. A conformat screw is like a dowel screw. It takes a special drill bit in order to pre-drill into the material. But I wanted this to be very strong, so I put conformat screws into the leg but I use the same exact screws for the casters. And then putting the casters on using washers and the conformat screws. There you see that with all the casters themselves on the bottom. Flipped it over onto the ground. Took uh, the other two by four sheet of plywood, put that on there with glue and nails. And there you go, shop cart. Easy peasy. Holds uh, all the material you need. And I used it in the field for, and I even brought it in the truck, loaded the stuff because I had to go in an apartment building. It was very good for transporting the tools.